Inside Killing Eve's Jodie Comer's Friendship with Katarina Johnson Thompson Killing Eve star Jodie Comer and gold medal track athlete Katarina Johnson Thompson attended the same Catholic girls' school in Liverpool and remains friends to this day. One is known for being one of TV's most ruthless assassins. The other has won gold on the track. And what is even more remarkable than their individual talent is the fact they went to school together. Killing Eve star Jodie Comer, 25, and athlete Katarina Johnson Thompson, 26, both attended Catholic girls' school St. Julie's in Liverpool, where they honed the skills that would bring them global acclaim in two very different fields. They have remained close friends and are thrilled to share in and publicize each other's successes. Katarina's Twitter profile features BAFTA retweets and Killing Eve posts dotted amid the sporty track shots. Unbelievably proud of at Jody Kummer, the hept athlete and pent athlete tweeted after her pal's BAFTA win for Best Actress. So bloody talented and getting the recognition you deserve. Jody is equally gushing, saying, Katie is such a modest, humble person. She'll go away and compete in something amazing and the only way you'll hear about it is on the news. The actress doesn't miss an opportunity to post instagram snaps with her super fit pal and their gang of foodie mates, who she says especially love Liverpool restaurant Marais. Along with touching snaps in supportive Team KJT t-shirts, there are glamorous shots taken on girls' away days at Ascot in 2017 and 2018. We've got a girls' group chat, Jody explains. It's called hoes in different area codes because we are never in the same place at the same time. So that's always very lively. While Jody was reportedly paid a relatively small $350,000 in the first series of Killing Eve $43,000 an episode her earning power is vastly higher now. She is believed to be set to earn $1.6 million reportedly up to $100,000 an episode for playing Villanelle in the second series, which returned to BBC One on Saturday night and a planned third installment of the crime drama. Her earnings might be a far cry from her ordinary beginnings, but she's not ready to leave her home city yet. Last year she said she still lived in her childhood home in Liverpool with her parents when she's not filming. She says, there's no place I would rather be than at home watching telly in my pajamas. That is my happy space. For now, however, she is living the Hollywood dream in Boston as she plays opposite Deadpool star Ryan Reynolds in Free Guy and being paid around £1.5 million. Katie gets it, she's away even more than I am, says Jody. She trains and she can't do all the parties, or the drinking. I know she feels she's had to miss out socially over the years and it's the same with me being away filming. But the amazing thing about finding true friends is that you might not see them for six months, but when you do it's like a single day hasn't passed. Recently, for the first time, they shared a professional platform when they were both honored at the Remarkable Women Awards in London. It is a huge honor to receive this award and be included with such inspiring women, one of them being my best friend Katarina Johnson Thompson, beamed Jody, who won Entertainer of the Year while her friend won Sports Star of the Year. I'm really overwhelmed and happy that we all get to be here tonight to celebrate each other's success. Katarina, who appears fairly shy when TV cameras are trained on her, was nicknamed Droopy early on in her career because she hung her head low and her coach had to train her to smile more. While Jody is clear she doesn't relish a KJT-style workout. That would be madness.
Jody laughed when asked if she and her Amazonian six feet mate ever exercise together. Katie led a Nike exercise class a while ago in London and I went along. I ended up panting and bright red and completely unable to keep up with everyone else. The actress, who grew up in a semi with her mum and dad, a masser at Everton FC, was clearly talented, appearing in school musicals such as Hairspray and Aladdin. Aged 13, she was even put forward for a Radio 4 play by her teacher, and got the part, going on to make her TV debut aged 15 with bit roles in The Royal Today and Holby City. And her breakthrough came in Dr. Foster when she played the other woman, Kate, in 2015. She shunned drama school and has no formal training. I got an A asterisk in my practical drama and I got a U in my written, she admitted. You know people who would go home, do their homework, revise? It wasn't my vibe. She was even expelled from a girl group for failing to commit to rehearsals. It sounds so intense, drama school, that 9 to 7 every day of someone drilling something into me. S.H. reveals. Katerina, on the other hand, knuckled down young. Her mum, a former dancer, had her destined for a life on the stage, initially. The athlete has said while still in nappies she was taken to ballet classes. But she was a tomboy at heart, and at the age of 10 broke a 29-year school record for high jump. She made her first debut on the world stage aged 19 at the London 2012 Olympics one of the youngest members of Team GB. She came 15th in the heptathlon, in the shadow of older teammate Jessica Ennis Hill. Then at the 2015 World Championships in Beijing, she fouled three times in the long jump when she was favorite to win falling to 28th place. But finally, just as Jody's star is rising high, her own is too. She won gold in the heptathlon at the Commonwealth Games and silver at the European Championships last year with a personal best of 6,759. And last month at the 45th Hypo meeting in Gotsis, she recorded a new personal best of 6,813 taking her up to 18th on the world all-time list. Now I feel like I'm in a better place and I'm a better hept athlete, she said. And like her friend Jody, Katerina's thoughts are never far from home. She admits to her mum FaceTiming when she's away to show her how to cook dinner. All the ambition and success in the world won't stop these liver birds flying back to the nest and out for a bevy with her busy, when Katerina's not training. I don't have any hobbies, Jody once said. I like to go and drink gin with my friends. Subscribe to our channel. Like and post comments below the video. With us on the channel, you will find only the latest news. In front. Still a lot of interesting.